What's going on guys, I'm the Inhuman Beatdown and I'm here to welcome you to a very special episode of Marvel Avengers Alliance. It's Christmas. That's a simple way to put it. This is the Christmas episode. So while everyone is opening their gifts on Christmas Day, I too will be opening mine. I'll be opening all 120 of my impending Doom lockboxes in hopes of getting Dr. Doom. While in between, I will also be talking about two new outfits that came out for Hulk and War Machine. So let's get started. Lockboxes. Set that to low. There we go. Open! Yay, already off to a good start. Not that I wasn't going to get one new since I haven't ever opened them before. Rough Ride and Rifle. Apparently they really like that since they gave me three of them. <laughs> Anyways. Come on, come on. Sweet. Doing good. No duplicates yet. Here's, here's, hoping I don't get any. Okay, doing, doing good. Doing good, doing good, doing real good. Whew. Good. Ah, there we go, first duplicate. Second duplicate, how many more do I have to go? I have to get four. Okay, I can afford. It. God damn it, come on. And. Okay, good. New one, new one. Okay, I only need three more now. And big money. Shit. Will I hit it with this? Yes, new one. Two more remain. 20 boxes. Now I'll start opening them one at a time. Trade all. Molotov. I don't know. <laughs> awesome. One more. Take the chance. Still, let's take the chance. Come on, come on, come on. Big money, big money, big money, big money. No whammies, no whammies, no whammies, no whammies. Yes! We did it! First run! Doctor Doom recruited! I object to this in the strongest possible terms. I always, Richards, your objections are... Irrelevant. This is the man who resurrected the Red Skull. I won't work with a terrorist. None of us will. Then I will stand alone. When, when has Doom ever needed the company of fools? You're about to get the company of my fist, you rotten sack of... Enough. Doom has knowledge of incursions that we need. The agent will accompany him at all times to make sure he behaves. End of story. Doctor Strange and I have been observing Doom's activities for some time now. We believe his desire to work in tandem with S.H.I.E.L.D. to end the incursion threat is sincere. Watch him, Agent. Doom needs us for something, but the second he doesn't, he'll try to destroy us. Use his power, find out what he wants, and be ready. He wants to make muffins. <laughs> in other words, you get to babysit the crazy cyber warlock. Have fun. Yay! Oh, that was... that was... Pure luck! Merry All right, then. Christmas, everybody! <laughs> oh, but now I'm gonna go through the story. There is a bit of pleasure in finding a worthy adversary. A challenge that one might set his will against to take the measure of himself. You think I speak of Richards? Ha! He is pathetic. A man who squanders what meager gifts he possesses on self-righteous egotism. No, my greatest foe is the phenomenon you know as incursions. Collisions between worlds which threaten not just Earth, but the entirety of reality. 
I created the Syndicate to distract S.H.I.E.L.D. and give them an effigy to burn while I seized control and steered this world towards go away. <laughs> well, I seized control and steered this world towards salvation, but somehow you dared to resist me. Since that time, I have pitted my genius against the incursion of Vince alone, while you have done naught but hide here and mount a pitiful defense. Doom has gone through to the other worlds. I have beheld the structure of the multiverse and found it rotting. Can you even conceive of the catastrophic that bears down upon catastrophe that bears down upon us? Would I design to speak to you if it meant less than the annihilation of all? I can no longer afford to waste time on Shield's petty resistance. You will join me, and we will bring an end to this disaster. Continue your impotence, and I will crush you. Whatever. Whatever you choose, know this. There is nothing in all of creation that can stand against my will. Not incursions, not shield, not you. Doom is supreme over all. <laughs> I have six more boxes, I might as well open them. <laughs> yeah, why not? Hey, maybe you get a comic book cover. Oh, nice. <laughs> God, I did real good. I got real lucky. This is a good Christmas already. <laughs> uh, good day, good day. Okay, now that that's taken care of, let's go over and talk about the outfits I promised I'd talk about. Uh, caffeine, my lifeblood. Don't let them lie to you, it's liquor. Uh... Anyways, the Hulk received a new outfit, which is the Grey Hulk, which is available in Tactician and Bruiser. He gains Fighting Dirty and Street Smart. Fighting Dirty has a chance to apply Blinded, Coward, Disoriented, Fumbling, or Weak Point before an enemy attack. Counter attacks the enemy after the attack. Street Smart's Grey Hulk does not gain a Hulk up every turn. Grey Hulk gains an additional Hulk up from Rage Punch. So, aside from applying some okay debuffs and maybe countering attacks, he doesn't gain Hulk up every turn, which means you would have to continuously keep using Rage Punch if you wanted to uh, build up his attack power, which is okay, I guess, but I'm still better off sticking with his Avengers outfit or the uh, Warlord out or the World War Hulk. Punching make Hulk angry! If that's your kind of thing, and uh, other heroes benefit from that, such as Mockingbird or others who have exploit adoration or exploits anything else, he's pretty good for it. But aside from that, I don't really see much use for him. The other, of course, is War Machine, who gained his original War Machine outfit, who goes back to his normal moveset, available in Infiltrator and Tactician. Now for this, he gains tr Tiny Transistors and Wild Blue Yonder. Tiny Transistors have miniaturized your weapon's technology. Overcharge no longer drains stamina and does not cause overheated. <laughs> Wild Blue Yonder comes in a devastating airstrike after three rounds. Now of course, Overcharge is his uh, main thing, which gives him three charge capacitors, and overcharge restores all of his stamina and guarantees him maximum charge, but the next attack would drain all of his stamina. Now it is nice that his ability stops him from stops that from happening. And if I probably wasn't running the Iron Patriot, I would probably run that. This is probably a better idea of his outfit than his normal one. Being able to bypass one of his major flaws in his, or not flaws, but one of his major down parts in his attack is a, a negative side to using some of his best attacks. You shut the hell up! Puppy is scratching at my door. As for the airstrike, as for the airstrike, it seems okay, but 
Most battles don't even last three battles or three rounds. <laughs> Most battles don't last three rounds or more than three rounds. And if they do, it's probably because it's going extremely slow. So that isn't even a major consi consideration for me. Overall, if you did, if you weren't able to pick up the Iron Patriot, I would most certainly recommend going out and getting the original War Machine outfit. I probably won't because I really like the radiation damage that is offered by 21 Gun Salute. Uh, that being said, that's really all there is to talk about. We recruited Doom, and I took you through those. I hope you all are having a very Merry Christmas today, or Kwanzaa, whatever holiday you celebrate. From Beatdown and DW, Merry Christmas! Why are you touching me? Praise Jesus! <laughs> Jesus! So until next time, we will catch you all later. Asta. Jesus!